calling me up saying they need a feature Saying we can help each other but I see the leeches Get the credit where it's due, I ain't talking visa But since you talking visa, don't say you won't pay me either Did you catch that? What's up guys? Welcome to the first episode of 2020. We took some highlights, some clips from 2019 that we wanted to share with you guys. I'm actually amazed looking back at how great this year was for me, professionally, personally, all things growth related. Super excited to share them with you. But before we dive into that, I wanna talk a little bit about 2020 and what I'm excited for. So I'm gonna level up everything as usual, like we did in 2019, focus on personal growth development, crushing it here at Sabre and our national advisory group. You see that I travel quite a bit. I hung out with a bunch of interesting people in 2019 that you'll see here, but namely Ryan Serhant, Gary Vaynerchuk, Tyler Harris, uh, John Henry, big time Tommy, can't forget about my boy. The list goes on. Hope you enjoy the episode and crush 2020. Let's get it. So I am here with the one and only Ryan Serhant. Let's, uh, let's kind of start um, with the whole concept of the brokerage models changing. Sure. Right? What's your take on where the brokerage business is going and the traditional model? You know, it's, uh, I used to think that the traditional model was just going to die. I think a year ago, we were at the Agent 2021 conference and I was like, the traditional brokerage model is over, it's over, it's dead and gone. And then a bunch of brokerages failed after that, both traditional and non-traditional. Right. Because individual salespeople, right, they are the ones who create the business, but they also need a home. Yeah, I think creating friction for the end user is a huge mistake. It's, it's why I, yeah, why, if people want to listen to me while they're running in podcast form, I'm going to give you audio. If you want to read, because you like reading, I'll give you LinkedIn and my website and Medium. If you like videos, so I'm, I think that you need to be, I, I mean, I think people should put out as much content as humanly possible in as many places Everywhere. as possible. As long as you can afford but the it. But the exact same kind. I mean, no. obviously, obviously the native to the platform. But to the best of your ability. I mean, look, you, sure. I always talk about watch what I do, not what I say. Like, I have the same content platforms, but there'll be nuanced differences. Okay. The copy, maybe the first, maybe the thumbnail. Got it? Yeah. yeah Context yeah. matters. Little one minute teasers, go to Instagram to check out the full video. Play. And, yeah. But content is the gateway drug to every business Absolutely. opportunity. Absolutely. Did this happen to you, right? Because I, when I started going serious on content, in my experience, like anytime you enter a new business, you deal with massive inefficiencies until you can kind of get it down. And so there, I went through a point where I was like, holy fuck, I'm spending 80% of my day thinking about content and not about the actual business. And you know, you, but you have to go through that fire if you want to make it a part of your game. What's up guys? So it's Monday in New York City and uh, running around like a lunatic all morning and I am excited I'm gonna link up with John Henry Tyler Harris they're doing a podcast I'm gonna hang out with them for a little bit and then Tyler Dex and the city and I are gonna do something real estate related uh, just getting together creating create content you know we have a lot of data to work with right so I'll understand if I'm representing a Soul Cycle or an Orange Theory or a Barry's Bootcamp or you know any of these big fitness concepts, boutique fitness concepts. We can dive into you know where they're doing really well or where they're not doing so well. Duplicate the wins, limit the failures as much as possible. Um, and you know today by using like geofencing and mobile GPS data, we can get kind of scary with the amount of information that we get. What's up guys? Today we're actually gonna sit down with my boy Carlos Gill. It's been a while, we're finally gonna link up, do a podcast, get some great tactical advice on how to use different social media platforms in business. To make someone a believer, I don't even talk about content. I literally say, go to LinkedIn and type in the job title of the person that pays your bills. And once you see how many people have those job titles, which are in the thousands. Yeah. So I use this as, a, as an example. I run a digital marketing agency. My client is a chief marketing officer. Got it. There are over 22,000 chief marketing officers on LinkedIn in the United States. Plenty of opportunity. Like I will not go hungry if I just order to work that list. Right. You know, and you can't even get to that entire list 
So I'd say for you with directors of real estate, specifically commercial real estate, once you see that real number, that's like, all right, how do I build a relationship with this guy and this girl and all these people? Hi, I'm here for Kids for Kids. I'm at the third annual ball and I'm hooked. This is a um, foundation that raises money for St. Jude's and I'm absolutely in floored with the amount of heart that's here. And I see a very young generation who's giving back and I love it. Everybody's so good looking and beautiful and it's a great event and it's fun. So don't miss it next year. <laughs>